It is not always asking you for money. We're telling you what we're doing, what dogs we're saving. Right now, we have a dog named Lucia. So we've kind of been calling her Lucy. And she's getting ready to be the first dog that we're gonna do a pacemaker for. She has sick sinus syndrome. It's gonna be $5,500, and we're gonna be raising money for her over the next month. We just placed our first all the way, totally 100% blind dog. He was born um, with a congenital issue in his eyes, and he was born blind. He's only two. His name was Blitzen. I'll tell you, huh? His name is Blitzen. But I'll tell you this kind of funny story. Um, he was being fostered by a lady named Artis Adams in, um, in Dallas. And she told us, this is the smartest dog I've ever fostered. And she's fostered like 40 dogs over there. She was original with smallpox, 1998. And I said, why do you think he's smart? And she said, well, she has bells hanging by her back patio dog door, and her dogs will go and ring the bell if they want to go outside. So, Blitzen was going over and ringing the bell. I'm going to get over and over and still at him. Um, there was a night that Bonnie and I were at another batch up north, and it was late, and we got stuck in a sand bog. Do you know you have these sand bogs in parking lots? There's parking lots that you get in. It wasn't a parking lot. That was a problem, wasn't it? That was the first problem. And we couldn't get in, and we couldn't get out, and it was dark, and there were no road signs. I called Bill, he said, I'm on my way. He got us out, he rescued me, not the first time, but he's just done a lot for the dogs and he's always very generous with his funds for the dogs. He's the one that did the $1,000 donation from the Sing. See, is there anybody here that would give a $1,000 donation for me not to sing? <laughs> But um, I just want to thank him, thank Scott, I mean, so many of you I've known for so many years that have come, I've seen, hearing the stories, remember Jackie and Rob, I mean, just remembering the stories that have happened over the years. I'm 65 years old now. I feel, I feel like I've got a lot of good years left, but um, I never dreamed this would be almost 24 years old, Small Post Rescue. And it's because of people like you, and we cannot, we cannot tell you how much we appreciate you. Is there anybody else that has a small pause story about a small pause doggy? And Vicki, I'm going to turn this over to you. Vicki, that's you. You have one? I have one. Come on.